welcome back to another Outdoor Philosophy. So we're going to continue our discussion on financial freedom and we're gonna be talking today about the credit card. The credit card, yes, the absolute bane of everything that's good and decent about financial society. Um, you know, the cigarettes of the middle class, the credit card. And uh, ultimately, there's there are a few little odd benefits of your credit cards. So let's go ahead and address some of those. Number one is if you if you're trying to get started in a business and you know you have some revenue but you need to bounce some things off some inventory, it is highly dangerous but still possible to use a credit card. I would not recommend doing that at all, at all. But it is certainly a valid use. The other factor that we wanna address early on is this concept of, but I get cash back on my credit card. Usually you'll get one or 2% cash back on many of your cards these days. And if you're not paying any annual fee and you're not paying any other membership fees and you're just getting a little bit of cash back, you put a nominal amount of transa uh, transactions on that every month and then you're paying that off. That can be a beneficial thing for some people to get you know, 1%, 2% of your transactions, which isn't a lot granted, but can add up if you're watching things closely. Now that is not actually, not actually worth the potential risk. That potent, what are the risks? Well, doing that, one of your major risks is if you miss a payment, you spend a little bit more than you thought you did. The very first time you have to carry a balance over on that thing, it wipes out a good several years of that 1% cash back easy. Now, if you mail in your checks, then that can be problematic in that, you know, there was the old company, credit card company, Providian, I think, uh, I think it was Providian, and they actually would hold people's checks and shred them rather than applying them to the account. Go, oh, go, lost in the mail, sorry. So they could charge an extra, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars per account per month. Now, that was bad fraud and uh, that generally is not likely to happen, particularly if you're paying your bills online. But nevertheless, for me, I don't see a credit card worth the potential risks. I would rather get to the point, now not everyone can get to this point right away, but the ultimate guiding point, the ultimate goal you should be getting to is to get yourself up, you know, $5,000, 10000 set it in a separate save, uh, checking account, put a debit card on that account, and you will have all of the same benefits of that. Now, some people will say, no, there's differences, whatever else. This is not correct. You can still rent a car with debit cards. I've done it many times, okay? There is the exact fraud protection on a debit card being used as a credit card at the store as there are on credit cards. It is not true that there's more protections on the credit card. Now, some people will sit back and say, but if there is fraud, it's on their account, not yours. Uh-uh, it's your account no matter what. It's your account no matter what. It is the same exact type of account on the same type of person. The question is, is it coming out of tying out of cash that you already had or cash that you, all, that you owe next month? And the law stipulates in the United States, any fraud reported, they must return the funds immediately for the duration of the investigation. All of these are benefits for using the card in that format. It doesn't matter if it's a credit card or a debit card linked to a checking account. So your ultimate goal would be to flush out the credit cards by putting an extra five or 10 or whatever thousand dollars into an account and then having a debit card on that account. That is the ultimate thing you want to get to. Like I said, not everyone can get to that, especially if you're starting out on life. So some basic easy tips for you if you're starting out on life is, if you have to have a credit card for those few things, never carry it around with you. Treat that credit card like a firearm. You don't carry it around, you don't pick it up, you don't polish it a lot. It's a tool, it's used in a very specific cases, in a very specific time for a very specific purpose, and that is it. You keep that thing frozen in a jar in the freezer, so by the time it thaws out, you've had a good long thought about whether you want to put that thing on that card or not. Okay, when you're using a credit card as your emergency fund, you will be in debt to that company for the rest of your life. Don't do it.
don't do it. Now, there's cases if you're starting a business or things like that. So, like I have one credit card that's on my on my book accounts and things, and then what I do is I plan my marketing and I throw the money at the credit card and then I'll pull out the marketing stuff. Now, I do need to get to that point where I can. It's just the business isn't profitable enough to do that yet with having a stockpile of cash. That is the ultimate goal, but at least under the point right now where I have a card on there, it just doesn't ever go negative. And that's kind of where you, where you need to get to. And so get your life away from your credit cards. If you got piles of them, just start going through and canceling those things. I would absolutely recommend getting rid of all of them if you can, learn to live on a budget without it, but that may not be an absolute reality for everybody, but if that's you, cut everything down to one card. Start there. Get everything else taken care of. Work on getting everything else paid back. So replace that credit card anywhere you can. Now, as far as living life in general, get used to paying cash. As we talked about paying cash last time, get used to paying cash for things. You sometimes can pay a lot less. You can negotiate a lot better with cash. Cash is a lot better to get work done. On top of that, you can you can keep a better track of it in real time. Now, it's easier to track where your purchases went on a credit card or a debit card at the end of the month, but that's never how your budget should work. Your budget should start by you writing out what you're going to do and then do it in real time. Cash will allow you to do that better in real time and it does not hurt you at the end of the month. You get to the end of the month and uh, you got a big bill coming up, that's kind of problematic. So replace those transactions. Um, for me, I do pretty much everything manually. I just don't like automatic things going. If you are an automatic type thing, we talked about setting up that separate account earlier. Set up that one separate account that has the debit card on it, which is effectively your credit card. And then have all your transactions coming out of that at the end of the month so it doesn't tie up your regular uh, checking account for other purposes. So those are some of the tips and tricks you can do about credit cards. You want to avoid them. They're not beneficial for us in society. You want to get rid of those things. Uh, as quickly as you can, cut down to one if you have to keep one, and then cut down to zero if you don't have to keep one. Learn how to pay cash, keep yourself on a budget, and don't buy into all these points and tricks and cash back, they're gimmicks. And they're gimmicks because you end up spending a lot more. In fact, when you use credit cards, you generally spend 30 to 40% more per transaction, particularly for smaller transactions. Okay, you go to a vending machine, it takes a credit card, you don't even know how much you just put in your card. You do it with cash, you know exactly how much it was. All right, so is it really worth saving you know, is it really worth getting an extra 1% back in your transactions if you spend 30 or 40% more? Now, that's not how people are using the cash back cards. I realize that in some of the cases. Um, but those are just some issues. Credit cards will hurt you. They will hurt you long term. And, and they are relentless and they will not go away. And it is a problem in our society. Uh, the, just stay away from them if, if, if at all possible. So that's kind of what I have to say about credit cards. Get rid of them. Uh, go with cash. Go with debit cards. A lot better for your financial peace. So thanks for coming along, and I hope that you enjoy your daily walk in our Lord.